Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome back to the Jalty Podcast. Podcast number two. We oh. are on a roll. Dude, I'm excited for this podcast. This podcast is a very long awaited podcast. I've always wanted to tell the story like on our Jadley videos, but you know, we waited the perfect timing. We started our podcast and here we go. No one knows. No one knows anything. I feel like there's so much speculation about how we are two years later with two dogs in a house and no one knows how. Um, anyways, well, what, tell them what we're doing right now. Okay, so today we are actually talking about how we first met. No, no, no. Tell them about how it is literally. Oh, bro, it is 734. You guys are seeing this same day, same time, probably in a couple hours. And in a couple of hours, also, we have to go pick up our friends from the airport. So Yeah, we're having some guests over today. But I just wanted to film it. No, hold up. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I was about to say, I just wanted to film it all raw, same day, you know. But no, it's just because we're dumb as fuck and we waited till last minute and then now we're here. By the way, we were trying to post. I mean, we were trying to film this like two days ago, three days ago. And then every single day, we just got busy and packed. It was Dude, crazy. no, we're just dumb. We're just slow. We, we would just wake up an hour later. We're yeah. supposed to wake up at seven, wake up We're at eight. lazy ass motherfuckers. Like, let's not sit here and be like, oh, you know, we got busy. Yeah, we did, but we could have also. Yeah, know. we could have improved our schedule, but. We're just dumb. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> you wanna, do you want to tell them how a little Bakersfield boy got with a girl from L.A.? Um, yeah, so how about we start talking about the fact. Okay, also, last freaking podcast, we were doing. Dude. Don't do that no more. Okay. I, I can't edit it out or okay, nothing. Okay, let's forget about that. Anyways, um, let's talk about what we were doing in our life, Okay. Okay, prior to meeting you? Yes, prior to us, like, even rekindling, how, or not rekindling, meeting. kindling, mm -hmm. period. <laughs> like, okay, okay you want to go, go first? You're doing that thing with your hand. I know, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, shoot, uh, my detailer just texted me. Oh, my gosh, is he out? Oh, he's oh, on his 15 way. 15 minutes. Okay, okay. So, anyway, yeah, my car's getting detailed because it's fucking dirty, and I'm, yes, it's, we're a mess. We are a mess. Never be us. We are just horrible. So. I feel so busy. I'm a busy person, what can I say? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> guys i literally asked jacob have this setup done by the time i get home i get home and there's no memory cards in the camera no memory card in the freaking the remix shit that we use like there we well, don't you know have what anything. there was you know what there was a mac and cheese cup waiting for yeah, you yeah there was <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie okay whatever um you didn't get my retainers i look dumb as hell <gasps> brb hold up go get them keep talking we're not cutting this this is all oh, raw damn i was waiting for the cut okay no raw i mean rawness okay here we are so drinking a coconut water from Costco, it is so good. You know what else is good? Them well, juicy lips. Oh my god, you're cutting that out. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Okay. Anyways, so um, okay, let's talk about how we even met. Let's talk about what we were doing at that time. You go first. I want to hear your story. I don't. I don't know. I really don't. I only knew you from like a little distant, but that's it. Why are you lying? I couldn't even watch your. Old videos, bro. You wouldn't let me watch them. So, so at the time, I was kind of blowing up on YouTube, right? I was getting, like, I think 100K on each video. I was really going on the peak of my YouTube career. I had long brown hair. I had just bought my car. Um, I was, what, 16? I was 16. Um, yeah, I was living with my parents, uh, living my best life. Not really, actually. I was not living my best life. But... I think I was just like grinding on YouTube at the time. It was like when my 5 a.m. videos were going viral. It was like around the peak. Like Jacob knew when to get into my life. Shut like this up. man <laughs> had it calculated. He knew when to get in. He knew when was going to be the, the most profitable time for him. He knew what he was doing. Y'all think Jacob is all? Nah, your channel blew up as well because <laughs> I came into your life. Do not, do not play. I agree. I think that like me having a boyfriend was like a touchy subject and people had never seen me with the guy. So it was like, oh my gosh. That Don't say guy. never. Do not say never. I'm they not trying never, to get into this. Do not had, say never. <laughs> they had never actually. They had edits of that shit, I bro. Had, okay, but I had never introduced anyone as my. Those were just speculations. I didn't feed <laughs> into it. I didn't say anything. They didn't people, pass the free trial? Yeah. That, like, nah, they weren't even free. Those were like. Okay, okay. We are. That's another podcast. But no, I never. Cancel their subscription, hit ass. I <laughs> I haven't canceled mine yet. It's a pretty good subscription. <laughs> yeah. Um, I never confirmed anything, though. People were just speculating, you know. But, um, yeah, it was the first time I had actually, like, flirted with the guy on social media because you were being, like, flirty. Dude, you used me for clout. Oh, Literally. Oh, my gosh. Pranking them that another guy got you flowers. Dude, that got you a million views now. Yeah, because I'm smart. Not because of you. It's because I'm smart and I had good video ideas. Like, you look it. Okay, let's. Let's retract here. Every single video of yours has my 
name on it, my my face on the thumbnail. Let's not sit here and act like I use you for real. No, I but just think had a again, good friend idea. What is my idea. brand? What is my brand? Being a good boyfriend, right? Yeah, I agree. I think that you should do anything you got to do to hustle. I'm not mad. <laughs> but when you throw shit like you use me for clout, oh, it's like, really? No, I'm, I'm joking around with that, though. I'm like, I'm not being serious. Mm. Mm. But you did use me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what were you doing? Um, I was in high school. I think it was my sophomore year. I remember going to the volleyball games, waiting for like a text from you. I was with my friends. I'd see like, oh, now like, go out, text me, let's go. And why then, were you going to the volleyball games though? Bro, you already know why. Tell them why. It was the men's volleyball tournament. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was, Jacob was one of those guys you know, that you would know go the to the truth? volleyball games you know, to you look at girls' butts. I wasn't weird like that. You want to know the truth? Okay, look at so. One of the games we, <laughs> I went to a volleyball game. It was I was supporting my friend from the other school. And now she came to my school. Uh, <laughs> of course. I never told her this. You see, you see, like Jacob was a flirt, just bad red flags. Just, and it was the first time I met her in person. And she was I don't almost taller this. than me. <laughs> I don't need to know this. This is not funny. This isn't comedy. Hey, because volleyball girls are tall. And I, I was like, yeah. we're texting. Or no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. See, if I was the heck if i was on this podcast right now saying that he would be pissed he would be pissed the double standards is crazy anyways men it's okay. just men all right let me go on let me go on okay so i was in high school like i was saying and then i was just hanging out goofing around with my friends doing social media but like not like that at all like literally i would just post youtube videos because it was like my outlet to go outside of my house and have fun with my friends without like being back by a curfew or whatever it was so fun. I ended up bringing a camera in my life, and I got it from a Christmas gift. Thank you, Ari, bro. My cousin Ari got me a Christmas gift. You're the GOAT, bro. Because ever since I got that camera, my life has changed. So that led me to having a YouTube... Sorry. That led me to having a YouTube channel, and it just, like... I don't know how to explain it. We we just goofed around and recorded our memories, like, making with my, making with my friends. And I don't know. I was just, like, really, 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 like, happy. You get me? No. I was at a happy state. And then... One Jacob, day, Jacob does this thing where he just says, I don't know how to explain it. And then he says, you get me like right after it. And then says, <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? All right, like, I have no idea what you're cap. saying. <laughs> okay. So I download the, the app TikTok and. Oh, your TikTok days. I forgot about those. Jacob was a TikToker back when no one had TikTok because everyone thought it was not cool. Dude, I was a pretty boy on TikTok. I was like, <laughs> making soccer videos. That's kind of what pretty. I know you're on time. <laughs> so I was making TikToks. Um, I, I got a couple like hundred. No, I got a couple thousand followers. I got like thirty thousand followers, forty thousand followers prior to meeting Nat. Then one day I see my cousin watching a YouTube video, and I see this girl on the on the cover. And I'm like, or on the video, I'm like, whoa! I'm gonna search her up on Instagram. I follow her on Instagram. Whenever she'll post a story, I would like swipe up. I didn't even think she would reply at all. She didn't. And then that's once, weirdo activities right there. Low key, huh? Now, mm -hmm. now thinking back, I'm like, damn, I was weird. But you would also do that to every other girl. <laughs> Shut up. Why are hey, you lying? Since you want to say that's another podcast. That's another podcast. No, no, no. Talk about it. Talk about how you were in other girls. Shut Dude, up. It was so, no, no, no. I'm going to talk about it. This is an unfiltered podcast. So Jacob was such a little W word. Like he was just bad. I remember. Okay. TMI. So we started talking or whatever. And then people were sending me like screenshots. I'm going to have a list. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. And I put in my new set of aligners. Um, but people were sending me screenshots of him and other girls comments. Like, Dude, and they were old. They were way before I even knew you existed. I don't care. It was still weird because it kind of showed the type of person he was because he would like be in other females comments, like just commenting like weird, dirty shit. And not to me, weird, dirty. No, yes, no, it do is. Not, do not you were say that. What did Hard you eyes? call her? No, no. What was the word you called her? Which is the same thing he had called me like a few <laughs> days before. Yeah, that's why you're laughing, huh? Hey, don't be hitting me. <laughs> no, because he had commented. So he put a picture of me, put it on his story and they called me something. What was it? It was like mm, some cringe, preciosa, some, I'm gonna something say like, like that. I don't know what it was. Oh, it was something bella, bella something. Cosita linda. That's Cosita what it linda. Was. <laughs> so he puts me on freaking his Instagram. That's not funny, dude. You know how embarrassing it is? And then he had commented that same stuff on that to girl's page. other girls. Only one other girl. Watch out. Okay, but you had put like hard eyes and just like stupid little like remarks on other girls' stuff to get their attention. But it was all like famous girls. So what does that give off? It was not famous yes, girls. Yes, it was. She wasn't famous. She had like... 100 kj no she didn't yes she did dude i know the girl you're talking about she did not of course not. you do i'm sure you don't forget no i'm serious okay whatever but it wasn't her though like there was other famous girls that he would just comment that stuff on and what does that give you right as someone who like 
he's reaching out to, right? And you have a following that makes it seem like, oh, he's only trying to do this for the attention because he clearly only gets at other famous girls. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying I was famous, but like I had a following. So that's what he was giving off. It was like, you're commenting all these little things on, like to me, that was like, damn, like you're really just doing this because I have a following and that's it. Loki, when I texted you, I took a fat like shot. Like that's like, you're going to shoot a deer and then you're going to shoot a fucking bear. Like imagine that. Huh? I shot at the bear. You're the bear. You don't get it? <laughs> no, I don't get it. You Isn't can't compare a, a deer easier? to a bear. Why? A bear is easier. Bro, a bear will attack you back. My mic fell. Okay. I'm trying to understand how a bear and a deer is different. Oh, you're getting a call. Hold up. My neighbor's calling me. Hold up. Okay, intermission break was over. Sorry, guys, but just got off the phone with my neighbor. Anyways, what were we talking about, Natalie Cuevas? Okay, so we were talking about how you were just commenting on other girl stuff. So, yeah, oh, um, yeah, that was just bad. It was just... So, a lot of people don't know this, but we um, we went through, like... Oh, let's just put this on here. <laughs> we went through a really bad, um, like, first, like, three months, I think, right? Yeah, it was really, really bad. It was scary. Yeah, I didn't want, like, anything to do with him just because of every like of everything I just said right now. Like, it was just odd how he would message, like, all these other, like, girls with the following. And he was just, like, always saying the same things he would say to me, to them. And that just comes off as, like, I don't know. like Red flag. Yeah, dude. Like, that's ugly. And it's so ugly. So there were so many times that I was just, like, I would just ghost him because I was so, like, upset. And just kind of like, I felt a little bit used. But you always would tell me, like, if you found one thing about me that you didn't like, you would leave me. And you never did. I'm yeah. really curious to why, like, that was. So at this point, when I had found all this about all these other girls, we weren't, like, there. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, like, I was like, still, we were distant a little bit. I was still, like, living my best life, you know? I wasn't, like, for you at that point. And I still had to send you, like, long paragraphs of it meant nothing. Yeah, because I, like, and there could have been nothing, nothing that you said could have changed my mind because, like, what is it, actions speak louder than words? And what I was seeing on the internet was just so much more because it was real, you know? Like, you did make these comments. You were messaging these females, and it's like... And then this was, like, an important time of our life when our friend Simi came into play. Like, she carried our relationship yeah. for the first, what? Not even a relationship, like, our talking shit for the first, what, six months, five yeah, months? Yeah, we wouldn't be months. here. I'm sure of it because I had the biggest ick with you. I thought that you were just a literal dirtbag. I didn't want to do mm -hmm. with you. Yeah, it was bad. But, um, okay, this is just, like, into the relationship, though. Let's start at how it even started. Okay, yeah, back to what I was saying. So I was recording, doing YouTube videos with my friends, and then I ended up seeing her on my cousin's, like, phone. I don't know, phone the TV, something like that. And I was, like, down. I'm a texter, so I was slide up on her stories. I was following her for, like, two weeks. And then what happened? Did I make the TikTok first, or did you? How do you, you damn, this is your Jacob right here. This is your W boyfriend. He doesn't even remember our history. Okay, I know our history. A trend was going around. It was like, <laughs> I like you. Don't give a fuck about your boyfriend. Oh, wait. She don't got a boyfriend? Oh, I'm trying to fuck. Me oh, and my, my God. Yeah, you did not fuck. have to say the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, do you guys remember that trend? It was like a thing back in 2020. It's pinned on my TikTok. So go to my TikTok. It's Jake 2 Curly. It's pinned. It's that video. That's when I first was like shooting, shooting my shot. But it was like a long shot, and I hit it, I guess. So look where we're at right now. <laughs> no, that was not the... Okay, so whatever. He does that. At the time, I am in Vegas. I don't know if you guys remember this. For her birthday. Yeah, it was my birthday. <gasps> I wished you a happy birthday before that. Did you? Yes, I was like, uh, happy 17th birthday. I hope 17 treats you, treats you well or something like that. I remember that, that message. And you liked it or you caught reply back. I remember back. that message. Okay, so he makes this TikTok. I'm in Vegas. I had left with my family. Um, I had just chopped my hair off. I had just bleached it. I don't know if you guys remember this. Uh, iconic era. So I, the, like me cutting my hair off and bleaching it was like a whole new, and I had put on eyelashes. Um, and I just felt like a new bitch. You know, after like you do like a major change in your life where you like cut your hair off or whatever, you just feel like a new bitch. Like I, my peace was going to be unbothered. Okay. It just was like, it just kind of felt like I was cutting ties with like the past. Cause I didn't like, yeah. Is that what girls are known for? Like, <laughs> no for doing they cut the hair off and then all the stress goes yeah. away yeah really i'm pretty sure I, I might be the only crazy one on here but um i had done that and i was like i'm not letting anybody freaking disrupt my peace right now so i'm in vegas living my best life um, <laughs> you say that and, and then the same day boom <laughs> yeah dude so i had cut it off and i was like i'm done like i'm done putting up with men and i'm just done so you weren't I mean, putting up with men at that time you're putting up with little boys though yeah okay so <laughs> i i leave to vegas I'm on the way there. I post a selfie 
the iconic, like, cut my hair off in 2020 selfie. And he takes a screenshot of that. And that's when he makes a TikTok because that's the photo he used, that selfie. Do you remember that? You had just seen it because it, like, it didn't have a lot of likes, I remember, on your TikTok. And so he makes that TikTok. I get to Vegas, and I don't know if you guys know, but it's like a like a four-ish hour drive to Vegas from like California. So I get to Vegas, and like I remember, we're pulling into the Bellagio, um, like drive. Damn, LA driveway. y'all were boozy. So I had bought no, 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 no. Wait, my dad, my dad had rented out that hotel, and it was for my birthday. That's what he gave me as a gift. <sighs> yeah. And so, and actually the Bellagio is not that expensive if you buy it through like, uh, like hot wire and like you get the cheapest rooms, like you can stay there. Yeah. We can stay there for like under $200 a night, which is not a lot for a Vegas strip hotel. You know, you just have to know that like the cheap way to do it. So we're pulling up, right. Cause you have to go up the ramp, like next to like the fountains. And that's when I see the TikTok, and I remember seeing it and I was just laughing. I was like this little ass kid. Like I was like ill first of all. And then I remember showing Edith. Tell them what you thought about me. Tell them what you thought about me. No, I can't say that. Do it. <laughs> I can't say that. It's true, though. I thought I, he was I, feminine. She thought I was gay. I, no, I didn't say that. No, but now that I look back at, look back at myself, and I was, like, really, like... Yes, like you were. I hope no one takes offense to this. I'm just being like this. I'm being honest. Like, look, I was just like... He would do that a lot. And, like, I know it's not a sign of it, and I hope no one takes offense to it, but, like, that comes off as feminine. So I, in my brain, I was like, this guy is playing with me, and he's, like, doing this TikTok, and, you know? So I remember showing Edith the TikTok. I was like, what, look what this kid did, right? And I literally said those words, and she saw it, and she laughed. She's like, do you know him? I was like, no. Whatever, ignored it. And then I remember I came back to the TikTok later because it started blowing up. Do you remember? Yeah, I got, like, 200K in a day or 150k in a day so when it started to blow up i was getting tagged left and right left and right left and right and so um i remember like going back to the tiktok like later later that night and i commented on it i put like the what did i put the, the cover you put in? you know you put eye lips eye it's, it's right there i'll go back and check it it's oh lips yes eye. eye lips eye. that's when i was like trending you just put like that yeah 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 and then i commented that and then he likes it right you liked it and then what did you say do you remember what you said to that uh, he doesn't no, remember. I don't remember, but people were like, oh, don't get with her, blah, blah, blah. And I was defending her. Remember that? I do remember people that. Were hate- there were so many people that hated on you, even to this day. But <clears throat> yeah, everyone so hates people. me because I'm the w- wicked witch of the West on fucking the internet. <laughs> you, just, you just speak facts all the time. I feel like i never seen your mean side. And I, now meeting you in person and like living with you, I like, you're so true to yourself. You're so like, speak factual Yeah, it's stuff. because everyone always wants to bullshit on the internet. And I feel like... When you are on the internet side of it, you, I would imagine why I look like the Wicked Witch. Mm-hmm. But like now that you know like everything. Dude, now that I know everything about Nat's life, I don't want to get into it in this podcast. Hopefully in the future podcast, we can get into everything. Yeah. I know why Nat's the way she is now. Yeah. So, um, but I don't care. Like people can say that. It's fine. Like no one knows. So it's almost like I don't care because I know that no one knows. I you want, know what I mean? I want everybody to know just so they were like, oh, I was so wrong. Yeah, but no, I don't care like that. But like to me, since people like take me as like the, meanest person ever um it's i know it's because no one knows right and so it's it's fine whatever so i remember people were commenting under his stuff like um oh she's what word is it she's such a show off da, da, da. dude yeah i remember Keep in that. mind, i had like no money at this time like i don't know if you guys know this but i did not take out my youtube money right so i had my youtube money um on like a hold for four-ish, five-ish years because I didn't want to take my money out till I was 18. And not just because I didn't want to. I, Well, yeah, I didn't want to. Like, if I took it out on any, in anyone else's name, I was going to be fucked because when I had to report it, my social wouldn't have any income. And if you're smart, you want all the income to be reported on your social because you're going to have to pay taxes regardless. I don't care whose social you put it on. But if you report income, you'll be able to do things like buy a house, which now, thankfully, we were able to do, right? So I just didn't want to take it out. Um, so I didn't have money like that. I, everything I bought was out of like sponsor money. I I remember I got my car, but I was paying for my car with like literal sponsor money. I think I would get like one sponsorship every like two months. And so whatever money I would make out of that, like I had to really save it so I could make ends meet for like all the other months. And like, I would try to spend only like a little bit of money per video. Or I remember my dad would let me borrow money sometimes in order to make YouTube videos. Like, but people thought it was a whole different perception, Dude, this lisp is pissing me off. But people thought a whole different thing because I had followers and because my videos were doing good and they automatically thought I had money because I had bought this car. Like, my car payment was literally under $400. Like, it was not an expensive car. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, 
So yeah, I think people just had that idea, and that's why people were always commenting on his, like saying that she's a show off, and that she's this, and that she's that. And I remember you defending me, which I appreciated because I didn't know you at the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. I would have been like, like, damn, this guy's defending me. Oh my god. Yeah, that's how I felt. I was like, that's nice. So when I saw you defending me, I think that's what prompted me to reply not, to you. Yeah, and not give me a chance, but like, be like, okay, I'll give you the little attention you want. That's yeah, that's exactly what it was. So when you when I saw those comments, how most of them were hateful and I saw that you had defended me, it almost made me feel like like, damn, like he's not liking the comment and going with the bandwagon of like, oh, she's an asshole, you know. Mm -hmm. And at that time, all the comments were negative. They were all like, you're a show off. You're always trying to like, you're, you're different. You're acting different. Yeah, I'm different. Like I had a year. I don't know. I had just like started blowing up or whatever. And it, it was just, yeah, I think I bleached my hair. Oh, yeah. That's why I think people were saying I was different. You bleached, you bleached your hair yeah because people are stupid and so when that had happened all the comments were neg all the comments were negative at the time and um i remember because now they're not now if you go to that tiktok they're there's more powering comments than negative yeah and it's people that have gone back in time and be and like this is it. where it started or like whatever so now it's positive but at the time it was so negative in the past like six months i i in the past six months i pinned that TikTok and it got over like 600, 700,000 views just from me pinning it and them like not having to scroll, scroll. down and see our story, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I that's that's how it started. So when you had defended me, I went on my Instagram, I think and that's when I liked your birthday message. Is that when? That is when I liked your birthday <sighs> message. Yeah, yeah, I remember You that. know, I never deleted our chats on Instagram before. We have them. Um, we like, should like read if, through if them one I day. If I scroll all the way up for like hours, they'll be there. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they will be. It was because on my spam. So I followed him on my spam and not my main, right? Because I didn't want to give it the attention to the people because everyone was already like, and I knew I didn't like him. So I was like, I don't want to give this like the unwanted attention. So I only followed you on my spam. Do you remember that? I do, I do. So I only followed him on my spam. And then- I remember um, that day you followed me back. I was eating the top ramen. I was eating <laughs> top ramen in my kitchen. And I was like, oh, Gianna, Gianna. And I showed her <laughs> and she was laughing. yeah. So I followed you, right? And then I'm still in Vegas at this point, living my best life. And then I forgot about it because we were there for like three days, I think. And then on my actual birthday, I was kind of sad. Yeah, I remember I was crying on my actual birthday because of something that had happened. Um, and I was sad. And then the next day was like a little bit better or whatever. But then the next day we left because, again, we didn't have like the money like that to be spending like four or five nights there. So we got there on the Friday and we left on the Sunday. But you, if you don't have checkout and check-in works, you check out at night, you check no, you check in at night, you check out in the morning. So checkout was like at 11. So you guys only had like a one full day. And then my birthday was on the Saturday. So we got there. You did the TikTok Friday. Saturday, that had happened where I was a little sad. We did like... Oh, our neighbor's here with the food. Oh, yay. We have food. Want me to go grab it? Go. Un raw. 100% raw. Go. What? What do you want Tell me to Tell him say? the story. I okay, don't know. Okay, damn. I'm going to continue. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the Saturday we go ziplining and we do everything that you saw in the vlog. And then Sunday we leave. But during that time, I wasn't even, like, messaging Jacob anymore. Uh, <laughs> this is fucking awkward. I can never do a podcast by myself. I look stupid. Uh, let's see. What else? Timeline, timeline. So then we leave. And then um, he starts swiping up on my stories on my spam because at the time I was super active on my spam. But then my spam just started getting too much hate. So I was like, oh, my God, I'm not feeding this right now. Oh. Dude, this looks so fire. Oh, my gosh. This yeah, that does day. look good. But you have to wait. No. No, mind. you have to wait. Come Babe, on, I'm we have starving. To, no, put it in the uh, thing. We have to film for them. This has to go up right now. Okay. So we leave. He starts swiping up on my spam. And then I think I started, like, I answered one of them. I don't know what it was. We have to go through our chat so we can really tell the story good. But um, I answered one of them, and then I ghosted him again for, like, a week, I think. And then I had posted. At the time, I was paying, not paying, playing. Fortnite. Oh, my God, I'm so stupid. We were playing. I was playing Fortnite on my spam all the time. So I remember saying, like, oh, anyone want to play? And I would play with supporters. And he <laughs> was like, I want to play. And at the time, you know, I was like, I didn't have no one to play with. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to play with this guy. You know, like it had been like a week and a half since the TikTok or whatever. And we hadn't spoke. I was like, oh, I'm going to play with him. So I'm like, OK, bet. Hop on. But this was before I had like my own console. I was like that little sibling that would use their older brother's console. I used my brother's Xbox. So I would like have to ask him and beg him. I'll be like, I'll do your choice. I'll do your choice. And if you let me play your Xbox this day, <laughs> I was like, I'll do. I'll give you a kiss if you let me play your Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't. He didn't let me play. He was, um, I forgot why. I think I had bad grades. Either bad grades or I didn't do, a, like, my chores. Like, I, was, I didn't mow the lawn. Okay, but like where he fucked up was that he told me that he would play. Okay? <laughs> I told him, I'm down. I'll play right now. And then I was, what did I say after? 
I lagged on her. And then I told her, sorry, I was at the grocery store with my mom. Bro, I was just begging my brother the entire time. I wasn't at the grocery store. Dude, it was the most (laughs) humbling experience because (laughs) this guy had said, yes, I'll play with you, right? And just a week ago, you were making TikToks about how you're trying to fuck. So You got stood up by a guy who wanted you. Exactly. (laughs) So that made me ghost him because I was on Fortnite. Like, I had the loading screen on there. There's a fucking fly on our camera, and it better not be buzzing on the mic. Um, We were, like... We had just started, not even we had just started talking, but he had made this TikTok, right? So I'm on the loading screen on Fortnite on my phone, just waiting for him to send me a message. I wait an hour. I feel so bad. Even to this day, you I'm so sorry. You should feel bad. That's like douchebag. And another hour goes by, nothing. No message. No, I'm on this chat waiting for a, I'm on text. Here's my username text. Something. And then I think I say, like, are you going to hop on or something, right? I'm already kind of, like, annoyed because it's, like, I've been waiting for you for two hours. This is ridiculous. So (laughs) he says, like, oh, sorry, I was at the grocery store with my mom. (laughs) So you're going to leave to the grocery store when you told me you were going to play? So that was, like, damn. And I think I said, like, oh, uh, never mind, we'll just play another time. Because I was, like, I'm over this, dude. I'm over it. So I shut the game off, and I was so mad. I was, like, the disrespect that anyone would ever do this to someone. I was wasting my time and I was pissed. So I ignored him for like, like a week probably. I don't know. I didn't I answer no him. Idea. It was like, I, and then he was like commenting on my shit still. And I just wasn't answering. Cause I was like, I hate this dude. Like he's a piece of shit. Actually. I hated you. Like, no, I didn't hate you. Sorry. That's a strong, but I really got the ache and like the whole, yeah, it was just not, not good. Not good. Not good. And then he kept swiping off on my stories and I'm trying to figure out. Oh, okay. So like, I think it was like a week and a half later, I was still posting like, oh, does anyone want to hop on? Because I was playing Fortnite all the fucking time. And I think he said that and I was like, oh, are you actually going to play something? And <laughs> You're so petty. This time he actually did hop on, right? And the whole time. Bro, if you know me, you know I love singing. No, shut up. Don't give a disclaimer. I'll sing right now. No, no, stop. So the whole time that we're playing, dude, the whole time. This man is just howling on the mic. <laughs> Doing that the whole time. But like anything, like any that song. That was prime Fortnite. And I was having so much fun. I was like. No, bah, bah. dude, you were just embarrassed. Just say it. I wasn't embarrassed. You were shy. I wasn't shy either. I was singing on the mic. No, because we talked like, about this later. La llamada? It wasn't these songs. But like I remember talking about it after and you were like, yeah, I was just really shy. <gasps> this was before you knew I sp- didn't speak Spanish either. Oh I was my always gosh, Spanish that's another thing. I catfish you, bro. So he would sing Spanish songs on purpose. So Not on I, purpose because I was trying to learn the language and I was always listening to Spanish songs. Even to this day, I, lis- I listen to more Spanish than English just to learn more. But don't you think it was necessary for you to tell me that you don't speak Spanish, given that my parents don't speak English? But you also have to just, like... Understand, I never told you I spoke Spanish. You would Jacob. hear me. You would hear me. I would talk to you in Spanish. I was, I was like, gas or some shit like that. And then you just took the took the shoestring and it's round dude, with it or something. Dude, no, Jake. That was fucked up. So the whole time I'm thinking he's like a Mexican dude. Like, you know, he plays soccer. <gasps> I went to a king. A king said I got down. I was. Yeah, bro, but that's I'm, later on the timeline. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. But that did happen. And that's another reason why I thought you spoke Spanish. I bet a lot of you right now are like. What? He doesn't speak Spanish. No. I don't speak Spanish. I'm a nosavo. I don't care. I'm the best. I'm the curliest nosavo. I'm the best nosavo. I don't care, bro. You care. No, I don't. You care. Mm-hmm. We have this argument all the you time. You think I care? She thinks I care that I don't speak Spanish, but I'm like, no, no, bro. no, no, no. I think you care that people tell you that you're a nosavo. Oh, I hate when people are like downplaying people that are Mexican or Hispanic and they don't speak Spanish. Like, bro, what's the big? We're gonna deal? have this argument on say, camera right now. Go. You guys say we're not Hispanic just because we don't speak the language. No, bro. no, no, no. Those are just asshole people. No, that was you. You no, were. You would no, agree no, with them. No, 100%. no, you no, 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 no. I would get upset because right, you no. would like fetishize like all the Hispanic things, but you wouldn't like stand up for the struggles of it. That yeah. was my issue, and not just you though. I'm not saying you did that I personally. My parents didn't. Uh, didn't like. Ra- they weren't raised. I wasn't raised with a Spanish speaking household, so I didn't have to go through. I, I never I said I did that. either. I get that, but like. I think me and you always have this argument because he doesn't understand the part that like Sign Mexicans your own papers and stuff like Mexicans, Hispanic, like or Hispanic. Sorry. Well, I'm talking about Mexicans in particular. So I, he doesn't understand like why we get mad. 
right? I'm talking about Mexicans in, in particular. I, he, I don't think he understands why. And so we always have this argument because since he's on the other side of the spectrum, he doesn't get it. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't get how, do you guys remember that when that whole trend was going on where people were wearing like um, the botas to school with like the low, the, the jeans, what are those? But that's where I'm like, I come in and I'm like, bro, not only Hispanic people or Mexican people wear botas. There's a lot of Americans that wear botas. They have an American farm ranch life or whatever. And they wear botas like, Boots. We agree. That's not the argument. The argument is that people who like are so embarrassed of their culture, the same people that just like don't like speaking Spanish because they're embarrassed or whatever. Those people are the ones who like dress up. And I don't want to sound like a Karen, but I just think that you, oh, I just think that you don't get it at like to, and it's not just you, babe, because you're not disrespectful, but the people, so he gets mad whenever people comment on the fact that he wants to be Mexican so bad. That's what he gets mad at. Right. Because I think people are just so annoyed of seeing, like, you know, others buy the Aria jackets and, like, the And boots. you're one of those people, though. I've honest. never bought one of those jackets in no, my no, entire no, no, life. No, 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 like, the ones that are hating, like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I've never left the hate comment. I don't care like that. But I'm just saying that people get mad at that because then they go and turn around and then they fucking say Mexicans suck. I get why they get mad. You don't do it. So I've never actually... T- you just fight for them. That's the only thing. But you're... I didn't live the Spanish speaking household at all. I didn't. My mom would sign all my papers, everything, but I did get raised listening Dude, to Spanish why would music. You, why would you throw that in? Are you just saying we're like ghetto? No. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just putting you in an uncomfortable oh, I situation. Like, what? I was like, that's, the, that's what you were talking about earlier. But <laughs> no, look I'm it. just trying to. Uh, sorry, I was just trying to make you uncomfortable. It's so funny. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm actually more comfortable than I was before. Okay, so let's get back to this topic. Okay. I grew up listening to Spanish music. Vicente Fernandez, when I dad would play it, everything like that. Like the cumbias, everything. But I didn't know the language. I didn't know the lyrics. But I grew up listening to that culture, having my, like, going to San Fernando, everything. Everyone had a dance party. Like, it was so, like, Hispanic. And you're, I feel like you tried to, I not get- only you, not only you, but a lot of people on the internet try to take that away from me. And I'm like, you didn't live my life. Yeah, I don't speak Spanish, but I still had this, like, I was still raised from this culture. Yeah, I, we get that. Like, I get that. Okay, and I've then. said that. But I, that's why I said you're not the people that people shame on. People are just annoying and haters, right? That's different than people who shame. Like, for example, if I get a hate comment, I'm not going to say that the internet is the me- meanest place in the world. It's not that. It's like the people who shame you are just mean. It's not. It's like haters. It's not like the upset Mexicans. It's two different groups, right? It's just the fucking Dude, assholes. yeah, there's two different groups of yeah. Spanish-speaking people. I hate the other people. Like group, like bro, I don't gas on anyone that doesn't speak English. Speaking English, they said they don't say the bright tense in the word that they're trying to speak, and I'm like, I, yeah, yeah, I'm not that's correcting just them. that's the mean group, and I'm not talking about like that. That's just haters, though. That's not even a mean group, a nice group, whatever. It's just haters. It that just just the broad term for it, you know. But I just think that like those people who comment are the haters. I don't think anyone who's actually like Mexican goes on your page and then says like. Like, oh, you, you know, you want to be Mexican so bad. Like, I don't think it's that. I say it as a joke, right? But I don't think anybody actually goes on and says that. I think it's just haters. Mm-hmm. I, I agree. I don't see it more on my myself anymore just because I'm not in the narrative of me. Da- I'm not in, like, the era of me dancing anymore. Yeah, that's what it was. That's when you were getting all this hate, right? Because I couldn't dance with my friends that spoke Spanish and had, like, Hispanic parties, bro. I couldn't because there, I remember would, that, there yeah. would be so much hate. And I'm like, bro, what do you get from telling people this? And now I see it on TikTok, like, someone a Hispanic person speaking Spanish and they don't say the right tense or anything. And then it's always your own people going against you. It's like, why, why are you saying all these negative things to them? They're just trying, they're just trying to like talk in their way that they want to talk. Get it. It's just bullying. Right? That's what it is. It's bullying. Like how are you going to bully your own person? You're supposed <laughs> it, to stick up for your own people. <laughs> it's bullying. I see what you're saying, babe. I completely understand. I just think the people who like say that it's just for people who do it as a costume to put on their botas and their little bucket jeans. And then they put on their Ariat sweater and then they go to bailes, right? As a costume. That's who people are getting upset at. You know what I mean? But then I also feel like <laughs> the people that work on the ranch, they had their own ranch, like Hispanic people with their own ranch, they don't go out there and get out of their way saying, like, why are you wearing botas if you don't work, you don't cattle, you don't go help Yeah, because your- they actually have a life. The people on the internet have nothing to fucking do other than criticize others. You yeah. know this. But, babe, you're, these are haters. You know this. I think you let it get to you too much because you don't speak Spanish. I also, let, like it get to me. I also let it get to me because I don't see any other people defending them. Yeah. I don't see... Like, there's times, like, where I wanted you to comment this because... I feel like if I talked on on behalf of the Hispanic culture, then no one will accept me just because of what I've been through already. Like, yeah, it's just because since you didn't, since like, I'm not an authentic Hispanic, <laughs> it's not that right. Anyone who wasn't born in Mexico isn't authentic, but um, it's just maybe because you were you you didn't ra- get raised like 
Mexican and like not Mexican. I don't want to say Mexican. It was just like without the struggles of a Mexican, you know, family. Yeah, but yeah. that doesn't make you any less Mexican for the record. Then why do you always gas me? Because you gas me. We, we no, fight. No, no, no. I'm allowed to say this. No my one on the will, internet My blood is. will always be that Mexican-American culture. Yeah, I know. No one said no other than me. <laughs> 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 but it's just because we fight. It's different when I say something to you because you call me like wanna be white, all this shit. Like, let's not get into the shit you call me, right? It's because it's me and you. But I get it why, why you get upset when the internet says it. I get, get it. Me? Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, I would be pissed too. Yeah. Cause it makes you feel less than I get it. It's yeah, bullying. I, I feel like I can't even stick up for my own culture. Yeah, it's bullying. Yeah, but I do see where people are coming from. Like, stop bullying. Speak up. But, but you can't like. Uh, I don't want to have this argument for any longer. But um, not. It's not an argument, a debate. But I do see where people are coming from. Yeah, I do too. Like, I wasn't raised with the Spanish speaking household. I didn't have those struggles of. I have to read all the papers and give them to my parents or anything like that. Like it's you a did. lot deeper than that, though. It's not just reading. I'm just papers. saying, like a like a random thing about it. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying, but um, yeah, it's just people who went through that, and then they see people who didn't, and then they want to claim that. You know, mm-hmm. that's what people are trying to say. I, I want you to understand their side too, because I think it's fucked up to only give the the win to one people when I get both. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I'm with you, so I see what you like, how you are, but I also live. But like, regardless, you shouldn't be bullying. You shouldn't be making fun of other. Yeah, people. I think bullying is wrong regardless, unless it's me to you or you to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, back on topic. Okay. Let's get back on track. Let's go. What um, were we talking about? Uh, me hating. No, Fortnite. Fortnite. So then we play Howling All Night. You know, I was getting that Mexican culture in. It was a Nick. Dude, was it really? Yeah, dude. Like, you would not. He would not have a conversation. And I would try to be serious. I wanted to get to know him. Like, genuinely, you know, I wanted to know oh, who yeah, he was. Oh, yeah, I was being smart. You would be like, uh, I don't know. I would say something slick. Like, I remember. no, not slick. Annoying. Childish, what? stupid. Like, yeah. that's what it was. You remember? Mm-hmm, I do. Like, you know when you're just trying to have a conversation with those people who say whatever? Like, you dumb bitch. I'm not telling you to say whatever. Like, why can't you just come have a conversation with me? You know what I mean? And he was one of those guys. So, I, I, what would I ask you? And you just say, like, something stupid and smart. Okay, and so I'm going like, to say this random one. Um, You would be like, oh, that guy's trash. And then I would be like, oh, that guy's my ex. Like, like something like stupid that. Stupid shit like that. Yeah. And or, that like, was- that guy's so bad. And, like, you're what? I'll be like, you're oh what? Oh my god, dude. She's a bad Stop. This is giving me like flashbacks right now. He would do that all the time. And I was like, dude, like I just want to have a conversation right now. Like it's mi- giving me anxiety thinking about it right now. That was the first time me like talking to you though. I was so nervous. I thought you were nervous. You said embarrassed. No, I said nervous. You said embarrassed. I said shy. Okay, yeah, I was a little shy. Um, yeah. So he was just doing that, and I was like, oh my god, I cannot play with this guy any longer. So I got off, right? Because it was just the worst. Like, it's those annoying people who you can't have a conversation with. So I was like, oh, my God, I can't do this. So I got off, um, and I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> no. Like, just no, I cannot. You do you realize it, though? Like, do you admit that you yeah, were like, okay. I was, I was very immature. I still am. I'm trying to grow up, but. You're better. It just you takes don't time. do those stupid Everything words. takes time. Yeah, I don't. Everything takes time. It was just horrible because, oh, my God, it was just bad. It was also his friends because I think. Like, your friend group would do that a lot. Like, the whatevers and, like, the, you know? His friend group just, like, did that with each other. So, it was, like, normal to him. It was a habit. It was, like, a, a lifestyle. It was a, <laughs> it was definitely his lifestyle. But it was so annoying. And it's not how you pull girls, you know? So, after that, I was like, yeah, no. It's not how you pull girls, but look what I did, though. See, that's something he would have said. <laughs> but they're better now. Like, before, it was just bad. So it was, fucking It was bad. really cringy before, I remember. Dude, oh, my God. So, anyways, um, he does that, and I was like, yeah, no, this is not. This is not going to work. And um, I don't know if you, I think, like, more days. We played a couple days, more times, though. Yeah, I think, like, a few days went by, and then we uh, he was on, and then I remember you would request to join or, like, just join. Because I remember I'd be online. So, did you know I was on? And I would post on my story that I was on. Dude, she, <laughs> this is where you messed up. When, when we, uh, I would be in her lobby, she would have her party on public. So, the guys she would play with before would join. <laughs> I remember some, I'm going to expose his name. I don't even know his gamer tag. Mm-hmm. I was like, no? Okay. Some guy joined, and he was like, hello? And then that was quiet, and all you hear is the, and the guy got kicked out. And I was like, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was you remember? traumatic. You remember yeah. that Don't time? hit, baby. Sorry, sorry, Keep hitting sorry, it. It's not like you're sorry. You're going to fuck it up. Um, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was traumatic. I was like, fuck. And you know? I, didn't, I didn't say nothing. Well, you couldn't. I didn't know. We were just friends. Like, we weren't even friends. You were just some weirdo I was playing Fortnite with. Ooh. I'm so thirsty and hungry, but this is nasty. I'm just going to take a little so sip again. Good. again? I, I, I already tried. Yeah, I took a sip earlier and it was so nasty. I think it was on camera too. Um. Yeah, so we played a little bit after that. 
And then, so after we, like, I think I got a conversation out of him, like, maybe once out of, like, the four times we played. It was just so annoying. And um, I started doing some digging on him. And it was around the same time that I had met. Sim- Simi. No, 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 no. I already knew Simi. I already knew Simi. But it was, like, around the same time I found out that Simi used to live in Bakersfield, too. That was so crazy. Simi was on your, what, your Zoom for your fans? Yeah, so I met Z- Simi through a uh, Zoom with like my meet fans. And greet, meet and greet via Zoom. Mm-hmm. And Simi was, like, one of the only people on the, like, 100 people on there that was talking to me. <laughs> like, it was the most, like, humiliating thing ever. And, and the fact that she lived in the same small city I lived in, bro. Mm-hmm. That was so crazy. That was, that's what was really crazy, yeah. So um, th- that was around the same time that I kind of started, like, asking Simi about you and, like, hey, like, do you know this guy? And, like, Simi knew a friend of a friend who, like, knew Jake, It's because right? I had some cute friends, and they would get girls, like, crazy. But I wasn't one of them. Um, No, he was part of, like, the stupid group. Kind of what I was telling you guys right now, like, all the words that they would use. And, like, you know those, pl- like, uh, pretty boys? Like, that was them. Yeah. That was, like, the, like... Boys who, like, use that stupid language, but they're, like, the pretty boys and, like, all the girls, like, flirt with them. Like, that was their group, right? Like, the cool group. Um, So, Simi was, like, oh, like, he's part of, like, this group. And that's, like, a red flag. Like, if that you know to stay away from those. And they were also playing soccer and that just red fucking flags. <laughs> so, um, I started doing digging, you know. And, um, yeah, I just didn't find good things. So, I had found out about that, and then I had found out about some other stuff, like um, people who he had in his past, and um, it just wasn't good because it was also people with the following. So that just gives off red the- flag. Jake, you're gonna tell me it doesn't? No, I'm telling you it does. Yeah, right. Oh, I wasn't mocking you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. I wasn't mocking you. <laughs> like it just gives off bad vibes, you know. And it was also like so soon, like. I just don't want to say too much because I don't want to cause drama on the internet. But, like, he was, like, obviously, like, kind of head over heels over someone else. And so, to me, that's, like, dude, like, you're only going for girls with the following. And it was public, too. So, it was weird. Yeah, so people knew. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, like, it gives off, like, the bad vibes. Like, if you're going after someone or, or, like, if you're going after people who are only have a following. Like, Mm -hmm. why don't you go after people that go to your school? You know? Mm -hmm. It's just weird. So when I found that out, it, like, I was kind of crushed because I was like, damn, like, I hate that this shit always happens to me, you know? Because I was like the, the per- not the, I'm not going to say perfect guy, but I was like the, like, damn, this kid's different than what I've been messing with. But there was always no, that No, at that flag. time, I still didn't like you. Oh, really? Not no, because you were still immature at that time. Mm. Um, but I think we started texting a little bit more. How did I get your number? Okay, so we, we need to really go back on these texts, Jake. Dude, I wish we would have went through this before we did this before, podcast, but we were just awesome. in a rush. I'm so sorry. I know. Um, so I remember we started texting a little bit more and eventually I ended up following him on my main at some point in time. Um, and then I think we started to get to know each Oh, and then you were being like hella cringe. Like you would kind of like, like during text messages, he wasn't like how he was on Fortnite. Like he was calculated. He said nice things. Like he was sweet. And then he was commenting on my, oh, he was replicating my YouTube videos, right? One, I did Flirting. a brookie video. I did one brookie video. Go check it out. So I'll plug, you know, the vibes. You're using me for clout, 100%. <laughs> I just wanted to create a video and make my cookie better than yours, my brookie. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he makes that video. Um, and it's just like back and forth, back and forth. I love how we have show notes and we're not even using them. No, I think I'm just going off of the top of my head yeah, right now. It's better. Um, and then I think we were just on talking on my spam, right? Yeah, you were, uh, you were replying to me on your spam for the most part, not on your main. Mm-hmm. And then at some point, I ended up giving you my number because you were being really nice. I remember on your spam, you were being like nice. Mm-hmm. Like, I, like, you were showing a side of you that I hadn't seen. And I remember this. The first messages we ever had on Instagram were reels. You would send me reels or you would send me posts. Remember this? We would be on FaceTime. Yeah. (gasps) Damn, this brings back a whole new, like, place in time. Yeah. But this was, like, the time where we started struggling, right? Because it was, like, the best times, but the worst times at the same time. Because it was around that whole time, right? Like, I was doing my digging. Like, he had a spam um, from, like, I don't know fucking when. When I first started high school. And it had like a thousand, two thousand posts. And obviously that's not good, right? That's red fucking flags. It was like a do diary, bro. And I would vent. It was so cringe. Now looking back (laughs) at it. Like, I'm glad that account doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. I went down like those two thousand posts. So So this was way before her. And she would go like, it'll be me venting about a girl. And she would see that. Yeah, because to be I'm fair, nosy. like to be fair, there was a girl like what four, three months before you. Yeah, 
And that's like the one that hurt you the most, I guess, huh? It, it didn't hurt me. It was just weird. Yeah, it was weird because I'll it, like three months ago and then three months later, like I'm trying to get out of this new because, girl. Because look, the difference between me and him was that like I was talking to regular people. I had never talked to anyone with a following. Like I was talking to people I grew up with. Do you know what I mean? Or like I had things with people who I had grew up with and like known. It was just like regular, like your average, like, you know, teenage life. Him, it was like he was going after people with followings, and I think that gives off the wrong message when I have a following. You know, mm-hmm. I feel like people aren't like I. They're gonna think I'm crazy about this, but it just like, it was just bad. So we started struggling, right? I remember like texting you like, um, I remember we'd go days without talking because I would get upset. Do you remember that? Yeah, I would have to give Nat her space because if that was like the best solution to yeah. get to get her like not mad anymore. It was just bad. It was just like, and I was already going through a hard time before my birthday, right? Remember how I told you guys cut my hair off, new new bitch? Um, (laughs) So, like, I was going through a hard time with that, and then him, like, me finding all this about him, it was kind of like it had just took me, like, fucking five steps back. And that's not what you want to do, right? When you're, like, trying to, like, heal and, like, be a better person. It was like that Olivia Rodrigo song. I would hear that song all the time, Jake. Yeah. (laughs) All the time, because it felt, it was literally so real. Um, but I, that song came out after, but I remember it's so like, it just hits the spot and, but on your end, what was it like on my end during that time? I was like, did I really just fumble the bag over my past? Like, bro, I was trying to get at you so hard. And then all of a sudden my past comes up and then you don't want to text me anymore. I was so like frustrated because you have to accept the person's path. You have to like <laughs> past. Sorry. That's what I did with you. Yeah. But I just said what the difference is. No, I understand. I totally understand. Like, it's so weird. Like, this kid is texting girls with followings only, and mm-hmm. I have a following, and he's texting me. Like, bro, what is this kid on? It's a, yeah. it's a pattern. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was that. Exactly that. No, I totally understand where you're, where you're coming from, honestly. Um, I wouldn't have given my cha- myself a chance. Hell no. Yeah, dude, it just gives off the wrong message. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, so for me, it was different. Like, he didn't have to deal with – that was another thing. He didn't really have to deal with the public of shit. You know, like there was, I guess you could say like a, a little, little bit, bit public, but no one knew anything, Jake. Like no one till this day, no one knows anything about my past, like nothing, like absolutely zero. Like no one knows. Cause you were private about it. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. And it, because these people didn't have followings. Mm-hmm. So I could be private about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that happened. We were just struggling like for months. It was just so like, leave me the fuck alone, you know, like three, four, five days, not talking. And then it was like back to talking. And then it was just bad, bad, bad. This bad. was all before we met in yeah. person. Yeah, before we had met in person, right? And it was just bad, just rocky, just fights, just this, just so that. So this is the timeline between August, the end of August to Halloween. So about a month, month and a half. What do you, 30, it was like October 31st that we met. And then started August November 29th. 20, start, I mean, started August 20th. Exactly, a month and a half, month. Yeah, so it was just like so bad, so bad, so bad. Um, oh, it's two months. And then I remember him saying he wanted to come see me one time, right? And at this point, I kind of knew who Jake was already. So, like, we would FaceTime, like, at night, and we would, like, Every talk. day, dude. We'd have school this time, and oh my we'd God. FaceTime the whole night from what time? Like, I'm going to say random time, 3 p.m., all the way until 6 a.m., and then hang up, charge our phones, and then restart the process. Wake up in an hour, and then go on about our day. I would wake her up for school. I would be, like, once it's 6 a.m., I'd be, like, loud. I had to share a room with my brothers at this time. So whenever I was on the phone, dude, my brothers are the goats. Because whenever I was on my phone, they they didn't know. And they knew, like, she lived far. And I didn't, like, live with her. I would only talk to her. That's, like, the only communication we had. They would leave the room. I had two brothers that I had to share the room with. They would leave the room, Nat. That's Jacob. And I never told Nat about this. Okay, so t- you know I just found out about this last, was it last year or last the year, year. before? Mm-hmm. Dude, last year I found out Jacob didn't have his own room. So for the, like, just on the lies, Jacob and his lies. So Jacob lied to me and told me that he had his own room. So I was like, bet. So we can FaceTime all night, right? Because then I'm not evading anybody's peace. Wrong. I didn't get my Fucking own room wrong. until I had my own apartment. That's so crazy, right? He was living with his two brothers, right? And so he would, like, they would leave the room for him to be on FaceTime with me. How fucked up is that? I didn't know. I felt so bad. I still owe them so much for that. So, so much. Every night now, for how many months? Because it wasn't just when we met. It was so far, like, long after, yeah, even when dude, we were dating. It was, like, almost a year. It was from, like, what? It was, like, seven Septem- months. September to April to when I finally got no, to move it was, like, October. We were in FaceTime in September. It was October. October to April. Yeah. Isn't that just fucked up? Yeah. I think that you could have handled that situation a lot better, Jake. But it worked out, didn't it? Yeah, everything happens so for a reason. For your sibling. I do too. That's I'm so terrible. sorry, Joel, Jason. If you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Sorry. I really do apologize. They do. Yeah. 
Dude, Sometimes he'll sleep them. in the living room. Both of them, because one of them did actually sleep in the living room because um, the bed wasn't big enough for both of us. Or we're just boys. We're like kicking everywhere. But Joel would sleep in the living room when I was on the phone all night. All sometimes. Dude, that's so bad. I feel so bad. Like I, oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> um, but so he comes up. He says that he wants to see me, right? Yeah. And I was like, no, because my parents were strict, and my parents were actually gonna kill me. Dude, I remember that day. Yeah. When I first met you. Dude, I was so scared. I was scared for my life. Like, I was like, my dad is actually, like, going to scream at me. I was just so scared. Like, my parents have always been really, really strict. Like, a lot of people always say, like, oh, I have strict parents. But, like, their friend, the, I mean, their parents let them, like, go out with their friends, like, Dude, you know, on a curfew. Not, now that your parents aren't strict at all. I don't get it. Yeah. Like, I went through it. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, like, I wasn't allowed to have friends. It was just bad. But, um... Like, I remember, like, now I see people talking about, like, oh, my parents are so strict because my curfew is, like, 9 p.m. Try not even being able to have friends. Like, try just not even be able to go out one day of your life. Try that. Like, that's strict, you know? And, like, people, like, you, for example, oh, my parents are so strict. You would be able to go over to your friend's house. You, that's not strict. That's after I started a YouTube channel. That's, like, when I got my freedom. When I started a YouTube channel, I got my freedom. Like, like that. I guess I got my freedom in the way that I could go alone to Target, but I could never hang out with my friends, even with a YouTube channel. I, there's videos on my channel of me. Like there's this get ready with me. I did that actually broke my entire heart for a long time. One of my friends was having her like, I think it was like a, like a birthday party or, or, or I don't know what it was. Did they not let you go? Dude, they didn't let me go. And I got ready, dude. I literally, there's that video still on YouTube and I'm like crying at the end because like it was ladies. Dude. That, and, I it, feel so bad because you missed her entire pregnancy now. Everything. I missed everything. So, I, dude, I'm literally getting emotional thinking about it because, like, she had done so... Dude, all of high school, like, I went through everything and she was there. And it came to, like, her one... I don't know if it was a party. I don't know what it was. It might have been her... Oh, my God. It was her wedding, I think. I don't know. I don't remember what it was. But um, I got ready. And then when it was time to leave, my mom was like, I told you you weren't going. That's so sad. Disappointing, and, bro. And I went back into my room and I cried. Oh, my God. This is giving PTSD. I'm, like, getting emotional because it's just so sad. And I was, what, like, I think I was 16 at the time, so it wasn't like I was a kid. But I, and I remember being, like, you can go with me. Like, I'm not, like, what am I going to do, you know? Like, go with me. I'll leave in, like, an hour. And they were just, like, no. Like, you're just not going to, like, so unreasonable. So, um, I, that, like, that's strict parents. Like, I feel like some people, like, don't realize the privilege that they have. And mm -hmm. I'm getting so emotional about this. And now they just let whoever they want go out. Go, go out. Yeah, but it's because they know better. And I'm really happy about that because I think that... Um, it's not that they know better. It's they, just it that is, they're though. so hard on you. N well, I no, they it. were because um, they just didn't know better. They were young. Not, not that they were young, but like we were the first kids. You know how the first kids go through the worst because mm -hmm. your parents don't know how to parent. Um, but it made me who I am today. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, dude. You know? I'm so... I don't say I'm happy that everything happened to you the way it did, but it just shaped you into the person you are right now. Like you're so independent. You're so yeah. like, you're higher than so many people in like that are in your age group just because of what you went through. Yeah. Can you imagine me like not being where I am just because I didn't go through that? Like, I'm so happy that I did. Cause it, I don't think I would be as independent as I am today. And right now we're just dipping our toes in the, in the water. That's nothing compared to what's happened to you. Yeah. But, okay, this is not about this, though. Anyways, when we talk about strict parents, oh, yeah, strict parents and, like, whatever. So I was scared. I was so scared, dude. Like, I was terrified. I was like, this is just going to be bad. Um, And I told my dad. But at this point in time. um, I remember, bro. Your, your dad was so grumpy. Yeah, but at this point in time, my dad was more. Reserved. He was, no, I think he was more, like, open to it. Like, because, okay, I was terrified, but when I told him, he understood. And I think that's the moment where my parents realized, like, we can, like, not trust her, but it was more like, she does better when we don't control her, you know? Because they were giving me little freedom to go film, and I was blowing up on YouTube. I was doing great. I was happy. So I think that my dad kind of, like, understood at that point. Um... So he was supportive. He was like, I remember telling him, like, I have a friend, and he's going to come over. And he was like, if he's your friend, then, I mean, he's going to... My dad knew damn well. You know what I mean? Even to this day, we never told him we were officially dating. I don't think he knows how we started dating. I wanted... I always wanted to show him the first day I asked... I mean, the first video I asked you out. Like, that whole video on Jadley. Swipe up. Go check out our Jadley. Yeah. I it's the very first video. Him. We never told we him. We never told him. We never did. Um, but he... Like, from the moment Jacob came to my house, it was like we were dating. 
And my dad knew that. And everybody knew that, you know? Yeah, because I brought your mom flowers when I first met her. And you could tell, dude, my dad isn't stupid. Nobody's stupid. Like, you know? So the day I told him, like, I have a friend, he knew that a friend was going to come. And uh, and he knew. And so he told me, like, if he's your friend, you know, um, I hope he's good. And, yeah, hold, bring hold him. On. Okay, never mind, never mind. What? I was just like, I thought you were skipping over a little bit, but you weren't. Never mind. Oh, yeah. And then um, I make him his basket, that iconic video where I make him his basket. And we meet up for Halloween. <laughs> so it's a tradition now. Every Halloween, we go to our park and our place where we first met. And honestly, I'm really excited. I, I don't know. If, are we doing it this year? We're uh, of course super, we're doing we're it. We're super busy. I so. don't care how busy we are. We cannot lose that tradition. Yeah. We need a uh, third year of photos of that. Um, That's yeah. so crazy. It was two years ago now. Nah. Yeah, we, we met up. Do you remember? I was freaking out. I didn't know what to expect. You guys it, have to check out that video on both of our channels, y'all. That's I like was my favorite video. The most scared ever. I was acting like a fool because remember? I was so scared. You look good. Yeah, I was. I was scared. I was so scared. Like I, I don't know how to explain those nerves. You want me to tell you something? Your makeup, you overdid your oh makeup a little my. bit. Like you, did, you weren't good at makeup. Dude, why would you say that? he <laughs> says this to me all the time? Like she would that, do these like big old like. To make your like cheekbones sharp or something, it's no, bro. We meet up and yeah, so let's continue. So from there, right? Um, we have our little first date. We hold hands for the first time. We go out to eat, open our spooky <laughs> baskets. I got her Yeezys, a spooky basket. You really that was your first pair of Yeezys you, you've ever gotten, right? Yeah, and I think that was the moment where I was like, damn, like I think I like it. It was guys. the ones you wanted. You also got scammed because you bought those off from a guy on Instagram and he uh, didn't give it to you. Remember that. You got scammed. Why for would Jesus? you have to tell them this? That was my first time ever getting scammed. They I was know. a dumbass. Everyone knows because you were like, go report this page. Oh, yeah, oh. that page, I'm pretty sure got taken down. Mm -hmm. But yeah, fuck or that guy. Or it's his bad karma anyways. So. Fuck that guy. He scammed me for those Yeezys. I paid him $400. 400 for those? Mm -hmm. Dude, you got robbed. I got man. scammed. But um, yeah, so we didn't actually do anything. We held hands for the first time at a mall. We still go to this mall, actually. And uh, we didn't do anything. We didn't kiss. We we didn't do nothing. Like, I remember um, being like, no, like, I you know, I just want to know this guy or whatever. The second time we kissed. But, like, the first time we were just like. <laughs> no, the second oh. time you kissed me. Oh, my God. We have to tell that story one day. Not this video, though. Because we made a video talking about, like, our first kiss. Of course, that wasn't, that wasn't, our, that first wasn't kiss. our first kiss. It was, like, our fourth kiss, but. Okay. No, <laughs> but we wanted to do a video like that just because we didn't want to like people to think that, you know, I don't know. So, but no, that wasn't our first kiss. We'll talk about our first kiss one time. We're but. good marketers. That's what we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then we took different thumbnails for each video, <laughs> different <laughs> angles and shit. <laughs> we're fucking stupid. Those swans were cute. Dude, we have to go back. That was a really cool place. We went to these swans with like Gianna and we're and we went with Edith and Paul. Dude, our long distance relation. Oh, that was our first time meeting, no? No. Okay, that our was like our third time. Our long distance relationship was so crazy because my sister would drive me two hours to go see you. Dude, she carried the relationship. I'm so serious. She would drive him out here just to see me, and then they would drive back. And then it came to the time like where I would spend the night and then leave late at the next day. <laughs> and she would, I would get the hotel for both of us, and it was just crazy. Just spending ungodly money, dude. Like, so much money for no reason. You want to skip to the story where we had our first sleepover then? Are we talking? No, we can't talk about this. Yes, we can. Okay. All right, so we had our first sleepover. It wasn't easy because oh, your parents were Oh, that's sick. what you're talking <laughs> Oh, no, no, not when you snuck out. No, not that time. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll talk about that one day. We're just not ready to talk about that the yet. actual for a sleepover, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was after. So this is like a long time after. This is when um, we're already dating. And he comes out and I'm living. Oh, we're already dating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we skipped the part where I asked you out then. All right, never mind. Rewind. Well, they know this. This is documented. I want to talk about the stuff that isn't documented. Okay, then go ahead. So... We're dating already, right? And I'm living at the side of my parents' house. Do you guys remember this? Your own little studio. I remember. My own little studio. Um, and I decide you're not paying $300 for a hotel anymore. A night. You're just not doing it. It's just, dude, like, I get that he was making money, but it's also, like, you have to be smart, and it's just that wasn't smart. And I was paying rent. Like, if you want to throw $300, give it to me, and I'll pay the rent. You know, like, there was just no reason for that. And so I decided um you're gonna stay the night here and this was the first night that he had stayed over that my parents were like gonna see oh we're gonna call from our detailer so back to what <laughs> so then i forgot where we left off 
Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, we decided he's staying. Yeah. Your parents weren't happy about it either. No. So, it was the first time that Jacob had stayed with my parents seeing. And um, Jacob, obvi- but, like, my parents couldn't say anything anymore because technically I was paying rent. Technically I was paying my own bills. So, they couldn't say anything. So, they see Jake's. So, we actually parked Jake's car around the block. Corner. Mm-hmm. We didn't want my parents to see. We, like, it was like if they found out, okay. But if they don't find out, better. You know? Mm-hmm. So, um, they found out. <laughs> and the next day, they didn't even talk to you. They didn't talk to you for the whole day. Yeah, they didn't talk. My dad was sad. And I get why, though. Because I was 17 at the time. Right? And I was... My dad wanted me to get married. And my dad wanted me to follow these traditions and stuff. And I didn't. So, I get why. But um, then it was like, Whatever. You kept doing it, and then my parents were... And then, got used to it. dude, it got to the point where they didn't want Jacob... To, to leave you. To leave me. I remember this. You, you remember that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so then, um, they wanted Jacob to stay the night with me. They wanted Jacob to go everywhere with me. Like, then they were more afraid for my safety, so then they wanted you to be with me all the time. Especially when you got your own apartment. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so when I got my own apartment... My parents basically told Jacob, like... Don't leave her alone. Yeah, like... Stay stop. with her. Yeah, like, leave your apartment and go with Natalie. Um, which is funny because I remember when they were mad that you stayed. It was just... <laughs> it's just parents are just, like, hard-headed at first about things. And obviously, like, they wanted something for me and I didn't do that. And I did something else. Which, in the long run, turned out better. Right? We started our own couples channel. We were successful together. And then we got Ellie Belly and... Yeah. Aww. Um which that comes down the line, but yeah, so my parents actually wanted him to stay with me everywhere, and that's when we filmed the sleepover video, we bought the TV, oh my gosh, no, wait, our first sleepover was actually like three sleepovers before the one that's on YouTube, (laughs) do you remember that your mattress was on the floor, and we told people that you weren't sleeping there, Do you remember that? Oh my gosh, I remember. Yeah, so we bought an air mattress, and I remember us saying, like, oh, he's going to go back to his hotel, whatever. And he was sleeping on the air mattress for the first, like, three times because I remember being like, I just don't feel comfortable with you being on the bed. And then after, like, three times, then he was actually able to upgrade to the bed. So I remember us saying, like, he's going to go back to the hotel. He never went back to the hotel. He stayed there. And then the other times when we said that he was going to sleep on the mattress, he did sleep on the mattress like that. We weren't lying about that. Dude, I hate to sleep on the mattress because I wouldn't inflate it right or I wouldn't plug it right. And I'd wake up on the floor. Yeah. (laughs) The mattress would deflate. And I was like. And then after this, I, I told Nat about it. And she's like, all right, after a certain time, you can come on the bed and I'll, and you can lay on the bed with me. And I'm like, all right. I, yeah. I end up going to lay on the bed. Uh, right as soon as she falls asleep, I lay on the bed because my back would be hurting mm-hmm. the next morning. Yeah. And then eventually you just started sleeping on the bed again and stuff. And it was like nothing bad. We were just like wanting we, to I'd save money. One, yeah. And you had one side of the bed. Of the bed I yeah. had the other side of the bed. Yeah. We were just trying to save money. Like at this time, we still weren't like balling like that. Well, I had my YouTube money at this point already, but like we, I wasn't spending it. I was really trying to save, save all the money possible, which it ended up working out. I bought a house and all that. But like we were like trying to make ends meet. Like, you know what I mean? So this hotel shit, it was not going to cut it. That's, a lot, that's, that's like the thing about social media. You have to lie. Yeah. You have to lie for, for everything to work out in your favor. Yeah. Like we couldn't just go. Dude, people literally hated us when you moved out here. Do you remember that? Do you remember all that hate because yeah, I, I had forced you to move out here? Like they he, seen me, they seen me cry because I was leaving my hometown, and they thought Nat forced me to move. Can you guys imagine the TikToks people made, dude? And oh my god, I got so much hate because everyone thought I had forced him, even though he had moved out here so he could hustle and make more money, which you know obviously worked out for us. Um, but people never saw that, and people were just fucking stupid and think everything is just like so superficial, and it's really not. Um, So, yeah, we were trying to save money, and you were staying. And then, yeah, we made a YouTube video doing a sleepover. That video actually got a million views now. Um, (laughs) But that was not our first If you guys have not watched any of these videos we're talking about, dude, you have the whole weekend. Just do it. They're bangers, guys. Yeah. It was, like, back in the day. It was 2021? 2020, 2021. 2021. We're about to enter 2023, so that was a while ago. Um, But, yeah, that ended up happening. And we eventually, then he ended up getting his apartment out here, which leads us to the whole hate. So we were going through hate for about a month, right? Which kind of caused a little bit of problems in our relationship for a little bit because I felt like, um, like for a moment, I was like, why aren't you defending me? And I get that you didn't want to add more flame, flame to the flame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Juice to the fire or whatever. But to me, it was like, damn, like everyone thinks that I am this, you know, mean person. Again, back, I'm this mean person who forced you to come out here. And it was not what it was at all. Um, I always told them, like, stay wherever you want to stay at. Like, I don't care. We can do long distance. He had a car at this point. Um, so, yeah, you moved out here. Hate. And then we got Ellie. And then Ellie saved our life. Ellie saved our lives, yeah. bro. Ellie just made us more happier together. We had something to 
wake up to. It wasn't yeah. just the same routine. Uh, wake up, yeah. see each other. We wouldn't film all the time. And then we got a dog. Yeah, and it also, like, up the, our lives. the hate and stuff, like, Ellie just came in and just, Ellie, like, Ellie was, like, the water to the fire. That's uh, what she was. Yes, dude. Like, Ellie, that's why I feel like a lot of people always say, like, oh, you guys prefer Ellie over Thea. It completely is not that. It's just that Ellie came into our life at a time where genuinely me and Jake were struggling so much. And, like, I was so lost and all of this. And, like, she came in and, like, solved all of this. And then I, us as a family, we ended up getting Thea afterwards. We got Thea for Ellie, though. Yeah, like we got Ellie was yeah. Ellie needed somebody. Ellie yeah. we we depend on Ellie. Ellie have didn't have anything yeah. to depend on. Sorry, the battery died to the camera. Uh <laughs> sorry though. We're just dumb. Oh my gosh. I just need a shower. That's how you know this podcast is too smell. long. <laughs> you smell. I know. <laughs> Dude, I smell too. Dude, I fucking Ugh, Ugh, I, I smell stink. like sweat. <laughs> Okay, we need to close up this podcast so we can post it for you guys right now. Hopefully, you guys have a very good night. Um, or morning if you're watching this the next day. Oh, yeah, you could be watching it the next day. Hope um, you guys are going to have a great day. Yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day or amazing night. Doesn't matter. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this podcast. We're going to close it out right here because it's too long already. And I'm, yeah, we're just, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching episode two. And we will see you guys next Thursday. Bye. Bye.